What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video. Uh, on the markets, your, your midday afternoon market update. Uh, kind of depending on where you're from. I mean, in the in, in the USA, it's morning. So so good morning, your morning update. Um, here it's afternoon, Asia is night. So, uh, but just wanted to do an update, all right? On the markets right now, markets so far have been relatively quiet, all right? And there's also not been that much news. There's been some, some crypto specific news, of course, um, but there's no major economic events like we had yesterday. The main news and the main thing we need to talk about, and that's also what we will do, is Bitcoin, all right? Bitcoin yesterday was relatively bullish. We talked about that, or at least, no, we, we did not talk about that. Um, because yesterday we did talk about the fact that we received some positive news, uh, but by the time I made the, the, the video on that, we did not get any bullish breakouts yet. And now you can see, if you, ha if, if you look at the one hour time frame right here, uh, we broke above this uh, short term downtrend we had, which is a real, I mean, it was a, it was a real trend. I mean, if you still remember yesterday. Uh, so we broke above that right here. <clears throat> That's great. And then if you go to the four hour time frame, you can also see that there's quite a strong level right here around, uh, well, I would say it's between 61,800 uh, and like 62,300. 62, um, we also broke above that, all right? So we did get some bullish confirmation and at the same point of time, which is also the, the, the key reason uh, why I'm relatively bullish on Bitcoin and therefore the markets. <clears throat> Excuse me, there's, there's something struck, uh, stuck in my th uh, throat. Um, but the key reason is that we also gained momentum with that and some, some nice spot buying all since yesterday evening, mostly the momentum started to kick in a little bit earlier already. Um, so, so that's all good. Now, the problem is, is that I still do not think that the markets are super strong right here. All right. We're struggling quite a bit with some sort of a resistance level right here at 63,500. Um, we did get two major bullish breakouts above 61,800 and 62,400. That's all great. All right. So we did get some bullish confirmation, but now we need to push through. And if we push through, that's great for altcoins. Then we can do some trading. Then we can see some rallying, uh, which over the course of today we have already seen. Uh, but I think that could be extended much, much more. So the main level to break, I think, is 63,500. Um, for now, I would wait for that confirmation. All right, it's um, it's a Friday, pretty volatile, a lot can happen. And frankly, Bitcoin could also just drop back down to 61,800 here and take altcoins together with it. So the main thing I'm waiting for is some sort of momentum to kick in, break above 63,000 and some sort of a continuation up to 64,500 and 65,000 and potentially also 66. Um, so that's what I'm waiting for. Now, which cryptos do you need to trade if we do get that breakout? Uh, to me, it's pretty clear, all right? Personally, I am in a Pepe long. I still think that's relatively strong, even though that's also slowing down. I'm in a long on RLC from this level right here at 3.3. Also very slow, I would say. And I'm in a long on, uh, on Aave uh, or Ave, whatever you want to call this. Um, but both of these, Pepe and Ave, are, are, are already risk-free, all right? So, so that doesn't matter much. When we're looking at some other cryptos, some cryptos that look very strong are Injective, for example, even though that's at resistance right now. So again, I would also wait for a breakout with that. Um, I saw some momentum with like Fetch and Ajax. Um, so that could also turn into something more, especially if Fetch breaks above 2.35. Dusk is forming some sort of a nice consolidation here. If we get a breakout there, that's great. Uh, Rune looks quite bullish. If we pull back into 6 and 5.8, that could be a good entry. Uh, Render still super strong. And that's about it for now. Um, Sui also saw some momentum, but Sui is a little bit more difficult to trade, I would say. Um, and I would be a little bit more careful with that. All right. And just in general, like I said, if Bitcoin breaks above 63,500, then the party can start uh, for whatever crypto. So those are kind of the coins I'm looking at and coins I took trades in. Uh, for now, I think that's what you need to know. All right, so if you do have any questions, a little bit of a short update, but if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. For now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.